Hi. Now I've grouped together parts C, D and E of this question because it's all on probability for this Venn diagram. And if you haven't tried this already, you might like to just pause the video and have a go. OK, well, let's see how you got on if you did uh, try this. Well, just to recap once more, this figure shows how 25 people travel to work. Their travel to work is represented by these events. We've got B for cycling to work, T for train and W for walking. And we're told now that one person is chosen at random and find the probability that this person in part C walks to work. This is a nice easy question because if they walk to work we've got just seven people who walk to work out of a total of 25. Okay so the probability we'll just write this in this set notation probability that someone walks to work is then going to be 7 out of 25. Now in part D we've got to find the probability that this person travels to work by bicycle and train. Well by bicycle and train that's this part here the overlap between B and T. So five people, five people out of 25. So when we want to talk about the intersection here we use the symbol this upside down U, B intersected with T. Okay and that then is going to be 5 out of 25 and that cancels down to 1 fifth. Now for the last part we've got what's called a conditional probability question. These type of questions quite often appear towards the end of a question like this. We're given that the person travels to work by bicycle. Find the probability that they will also take the train. So what we've got to work out is the probability the person takes the train given, and we write a vertical line here for that, given that they travel to work by bicycle. And to do this kind of question when you've got a Venn diagram you don't need to apply any fancy formulas although I will run through that in a moment. You can just read this probability straight from your Venn diagram because we're told that we know that the person travels by bicycle so we know that it's one of these nine people or it's out of these nine people here the four and the five but how many of these nine people travel to work by train or well, just these five so the probability of traveling by train knowing that they travel by bicycle is five out of nine okay so that's the answer five out of nine now I did say that you could do this by way of a formula. If you look in your formula book quite often you're given a formula for conditional probability. It will most probably say something like this the probability of an event A given an event B equals the probability of both events happening that's A and B divided by the probability of the given event which in this case will be B and we can transform this formula over to our work that we're doing here so you should be familiar with this formula and you'd certainly need to use this formula if you're working with tree diagrams but for this one probability of A given B is going to be clearly then the probability, let's just do it again in blue, the probability of T given B is going to be the probability that both events occur, so that's the probability of T and B divided by the probability of the given event which will be B. 
Now we know the probability of T intersected with B. It's the same as B intersected with T. It's up here. It's 5 out of 25 or 1 fifth. I'm going to leave it out of 25. So that's 5 out of 25. And then we're dividing this by the probability of B. And the probability of someone using their bicycle to travel to work is 9 out of 25. Now if you work this out, or times top and bottom by 25, you can see immediately that this comes out at 5 ninths. Same as what we had here. But you can see that this is a lot more work than reading directly from the Venn diagram. Now I've got tutorials on my website, by the way, where I show you how to work out different conditional probabilities when you've got Venn diagrams. So you might like to check that one out, OK? Anyway, that brings us to the end of this particular problem, and I hope you've been able to follow that.